Hello, my name is Lauren McClock and I'm a planner with the City of Wheat Ridge Community Development Department. I am presenting case number WC1910, which is a request to amend the underlying plan development zoning at Clear Creek Crossing to increase the allowable height for hospital uses. We'll start with an aerial, and this image is from 2018. The subject site is outlined here in red. It's located west of I-70, south of Highway 58 and Clear Creek, and north of 32nd Avenue. The property is known as Clear Creek Crossing and is about 110 acres in size. If you've looked at the site from the interstate lately, you've seen activity over the last year or so. In 2019, Denver Water completed work on a new water line that traverses the site. The master developer has been working on infrastructure, including construction of 40th Avenue, Clear Creek Drive, and the new hook ramps at I-70. Vertical construction is expected to begin soon. This image is an excerpt from the zoning map. That bright blue color represents the PMUD zoning designation, or Planned Mixed Use Development. The surrounding zoning, shown in gray, represents Planned Commercial Development, PCD, custom zoning for those respective commercial properties. The hatched area beyond the city's boundary to the west is unincorporated Jefferson County. This includes a residential neighborhood to the southwest, and on the east side of I-70 and the site are commercial and industrial developments, including the Applewood Village Shopping Center to the southeast and this yellow area, which is a residential neighborhood beyond. Land developments are customized property-specific zoning documents and involve a two-step process. In this case, the first step was approval of the PMUD zoning in 2018. That approval included two regulatory documents, the Outline Development Plan and Design Pattern Book. These two documents establish the allowed uses and development standards for the property and establish access configurations. The second step is approval of specific development plans, or SDPs, for each building, lot, or phase. These focus on specific details, including architecture, site design, and landscaping. For Clear Creek Crossing, one SDP has already been approved by Planning Commission and several more are under staff review with even more expected later this year. The approved zoning organizes the site into eight planning areas. Each planning area allows a different mix of uses and has different development standards. In general, the zoning calls for a mix of land uses at a variety of scales, including multifamily residential, retail, restaurant, entertainment, and employment uses. The focus of this application is strictly on planning area one, shown here in orange. There is no change proposed to the other planning areas. PA1 is owned by SEL Health, the same entity that operates the Lutheran Medical Campus in the middle of Wheat Ridge on 38th Avenue, just west of Wadsworth. SEL Health purchased the PA1 property in 2018. A hospital use is specifically listed in the outline development plan and is a permitted use under the current zoning. As the applicant has started working on conceptual plans, they have refined their vision and needs for the site and determined that additional height allowance is necessary. In planning area one, maximum height depends on the use and four categories are established. This table is taken from the current zoning. In PA1, single purpose commercial uses are limited to 62 feet in height. Residential uses are limited to 65 feet and primary employment and vertical mixed use are limited to 90 feet. A 90 foot height maximum generally corresponds to a six story building. However, the building codes and functional, functional needs of a hospital require additional height to achieve a six story structure. For example, the ceiling height in an operating room is generally taller than the ceiling height in an office building. And this is the reason for the zoning amendment. This request to allow additional height would be accomplished in the most limiting way possible by adding two specific categories to this PA1 height chart. The first would allow the hospital building to be a maximum of 102 feet, which would accommodate a six-story structure. The second category would accommodate an elevator and vestibule accessory to a rooftop helipad. This is limited in size to 2,500 square feet, a small portion of the overall rooftop. Again, these are permitted uses under the current zoning and there is no change to the use chart or to any other development standard in the project. This image is an excerpt from the design pattern book. The end result of this request is that those two categories would be added to this table shown here in red. 
In a plan development for any change to a development standard, in this case, the maximum height, the request is processed the same as the original approval. That means we review the request against the zone change criteria, and a full analysis has been provided in the staff report. In short, staff finds that the request does comply with those criteria. The change in height is not expected to have an adverse effect. The applicant submittal included with the staff report demonstrates that a rooftop helipad reduces impacts and improves safety as compared with a ground-based facility. The additional height cannot be achieved through any other process, such as a variance, and there are adequate facilities to serve a building of this height. The comprehensive plan and the zoning documents are not detailed enough to discuss the specific development standards for hospital use. The image on this slide is an excerpt from the comprehensive plan which designates the property in that pink color as having a mix of uses and serving as a regional destination. Staff finds that it is appropriate to recognize the unique needs of a hospital use through this amendment. In terms of process, this request required a neighborhood meeting to be held prior to the application being submitted, and that took place last fall in October. There were three members of the public in attendance. The height proposal was also sent on referral to service providers and there were no concerns. Written comments received as of May 29th are provided as an attachment to the staff report. Written comments are also being accepted through noon on June 8th on WeRichSpeaks.org. Planning Commission held a public hearing on February 20th and recommended approval. This request was originally scheduled for public hearing at City Council in April, but with the COVID pandemic and the new virtual meeting format, the first reading was redone on May 11th. All required notification requirements have been met for the June 8th hearing, including letters to property owners within 300 feet of the Clear Creek Crossing development, three signed notices on the perimeter of the site, notice in the newspaper, and notice on the website. As I've mentioned, the focus of this application is strictly on the allowable height for a hospital use. Eventually, in the future, the applicant will be submitting an SDP specific development plan application, which would include more development details. The site and building design would be reviewed by staff and the Planning Commission through that process. Ultimately, staff is recommending approval of the application.